Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School. This is a video on dust structures for ions. Now we've done dust structures for neutral atoms and ions is not that bad, so we just continue from there. We know from experience, ions are formed by loss or gain of electrons. And when we lose electrons, we form positive ions, okay? And what we're gonna do, we will put no dots around that particular atom. We'll use square brackets and the charge to represent the ion when we're finished. Now the thing is, let's go back a bit. Remember when we have something like magnesium, right? If we had a neutral atom, right? Okay, magnesium will just get two dots, okay? So the configuration, electron configuration of magnesium is 2-8-2, right? So as a neutral atom, we are just showing, okay, these two valence electrons represented over here, all right, with dots. But now when we're using dot structures, right, we will put the brackets, right, okay, our magnesium will be inside, and we'll put our 2 plus outside. Now the reason why we show no dots is that we lost these two electrons, right, and when we take away 2 from 2, we get 0, so we show no dots around the positive ion. And the reason why it's 2 plus it's because we lost two electrons and you're done. So once again, when you're doing these problems and you ask to write dot structures of ions or neutral atoms, please make sure you know which is which. If it's a neutral atom, it's as is. You just look at the valence electrons. But it's for a positive ion, you show no dots. Okay. All right, moving on. In terms of negative ions, okay, we know from experience negative ions, to form a negative ion, you have to gain electrons. And we will use eight dots. Now, the only exception is for hydrogen, because hydrogen is satisfied with two electrons in its lone um, principal energy level. We will use square brackets, and we'll show charge to show how many electrons were gained for the negative ion. So a negative ion of bromine would look like this, okay? It's called a bromide ion, right? We didn't do naming yet, but if they say bromide, okay, they're referring to bromine. Okay, in terms of and it getting gaining an electron. All right. Now, if you had to do the dot structure for a neutral atom of bromine, right, you will put your Br down, okay, like this, right? And if you look on your reference table, you will see bromine has some valence electrons for the neutral atom. So you'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dots around the atom, and you're done. So this is for a neutral atom, right? But for ions, once again, we have square brackets, okay, we have our charge, square brackets, and we have eight dots around the atom itself, okay, so that's how you represent the ion. Now, you could be also asked later on, okay, to show the dust structure for a compound, for example, this compound right here, right, all right, this calcium chloride. Now, what you'd simply do you take into consideration that you see a subscript here. Now, the only thing you have to take into consideration here is the fact that eventually in the structure itself, this subscript, okay, that we see here, must be represented as a coefficient in the final answer. So, we know this right here is made up of a metal and a non-metal, right? So, we know it's ionic, all right? So, we have a calcium ion and a chlorine or two chlorine ions making it up. So the calcium ion is right here, okay, remember, positive ion, okay, no dots, and the negative ion chlorine, as you see right here, is eight dots and the charge right here. But be careful, we must, must, must put the fact that we have, take note of the fact that we have a two here, right, in the subscript, so that two is represented by a coefficient in front of the chlorine. Now, you'll see some textbooks, right, also do this convention. They'll put calcium down, they'll put a square bracket around, they'll put a 2 plus here, and they'll probably actually write out two chlorines, two individual chlorines, and that also is correct, okay? But if you don't want to go through all of that, you can simply put a coefficient 2 in front of the CL, and the person looking at it will know that you're representing two chlorine negative ions, and you're done. As always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. Okay, please study, 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 and do well.